it can be useful to write one object to a file, but what would be even better, particularly in this instance where we have multiple assessments we want to store details of, would be to be able to write all of those to the file. And one way to do that would be to allow them to be stored in the array list using our add method and then to write the entire array list to the, the data file as opposed to just that one single object. So let's take a look at how we might do that. Coming back to our save button, you'll see when we did our code previously, we had an add method and that add method simply created a new instance of assessment, added it to the array list and then we incremented our counter. And what I'm going to do now, my array list is called a list. So in my save button, I'm not going to need all of this to get the text from the text field and create a new object, etc, etc. So I'll just comment that out for now. And here where I write the object A, I'm simply going to write a list instead. Because the array list already has all of the data in it if the person has been adding and adding and adding. And then we just write that to the file instead. So let's see how that would work. The reason this works is because an array list is a it's a type of object, so it would work fine. So, OOP exam terminal point five add assessment OOP project and this is going to be terminal and point five add assessment and then OOP quiz formative and zero, add assessment and save. File written successfully. Now again, if we open that file, it's not going to make sense, but we'll see now there's a number of assessments gone in there, okay? There's a lot more data gone into that file. Now again, we wouldn't ever then try to just open this in a text editor and use it in any way, shape or form.